Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is this week's YouTubers Weekly Stamping Collab. Our host this week is Francis with uh, Dolphin Check Nails. So uh, Francis picked geometric shapes. Any color, any one, as long as they're geometric. So fun with geometry. Today what I'm going to do, I have actually... Now I have black everywhere. Um, forgotten that I owned this Moira stamping polish. And this stays a little bit wet so that you can, in, you could put stuff over the top. Gosh, what a mess I just made. Um, let me touch the bottle again. So what I did, I'm going to use this Westonian plate, Westonia, sorry. I think sometimes I say it wrong. Westonia. And it is W201. And I'm going to use these. What I'm going to do once I stamp it is put chrome powder over the top. Like this. I have three different chrome powders. What I'm going to do is go, this one is a silver, I mean a, a purple chrome and then the next one I'm going to use is a blue to purple shift. And then the last one I'm going to use is a blue teal shift. So hopefully it'll go across my nails. Uh, I do have a coat of Nail Teaks Formula 2. And uh, with that, I kind of switched up this time. I'm using uh, LA Colors Ultra Nail Hardener Dollar Tree. I am using a coat of Sally Hansen Hard as Nail Extreme Wear, and this is 139 White On. I will um, top this with a no smudge, uh, a smudge free top coat from Bundle Monster, aka Maniology. Bundle Monster is so much more fun to say. And I top, the, top everything off with. Oh, my top coat, uh, sesh feet, it's a fast dry top coat. So, yes, they're a mess. Um, I did paint them and then go to pool last night. So, um, gosh, I got black everywhere, but it's okay. I'm all good with it. So, um, I am going to use my bundle monster. This is the one that came in the seascape little kit. Um, I love, love, love. The stamper it picks up everything. So, hello, Maniology. Let us buy these by themselves. If anyone knows how I can get it alone, holler at me. I want one. Anyway, so um, I have a little thing of cleaner right here. And uh, that's just for a little bit of cleanup. I have some tape on the side. I did want to show you guys something I just kind of... Figured out. I was cleaning up my space, and I'll put that video up here real quick. But um, I was cleaning this all up, and I had shoved a couple of cotton balls in a nail bottle holder, and it's actually pretty cool. This way, you don't get it. See, I just got it all over my nails. This way, you don't get your nails exposed to sticking to the cotton ball. I just put it down in the middle, open it up, and. Look at that, and it's on there good. So, just a little tip I thought I'd share with you guys. It works. And I'm just going to clean the plate off really fast. I think it's pretty clean. And let's get to work. Uh, this is a uh, Moira FP01. And it's um, a stamping polish, but for some reason... It works with uh, other things, so I think that you can use like a foil with it as well. I don't know. I forgot I bought it, and here it sits. And I really wanted to do something with these. Uh, these are all Born Pretties. Um, <clears throat> there's a spot that's not going to pick up, but let's see. Oh, no, it picked up. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> But here it goes, and that, that's kind of just me and getting used to this stamping polish. So I'm going to do one with you guys and then go off camera and stamp the other ones. And then I'll come back on and show you the um, 
the chrome powders. So hopefully I can, this plate is a little touchy. There, I think that worked. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm gonna pick up just the edge of that, get rid of this and that as well. It's a perfect pickup. I'm gonna go right there over the paper towel so you can see it. And let's see if I can get this to um, center as best I can. Just like that. And if you, I found that on these straight lines, if you kind of push down straight, you'll get straighter lines. So there's that. Oh gosh, this Moira bottle keeps tipping over. Maybe I should use a polish holder thing for it instead of using it for Kleenexes. Or I mean, pff, cotton balls. Jeez, where am I? Here, there, that'll help. But I still got it on my thumb. Jeez. I got it everywhere. What a mess. Okay, so I have this on here. Got cotton stuck to it. I'm sure there's going to be a dog hair or two. Just kidding. I cleaned everything up and I swept and I put everything together. Hey, and you guys down in the comment section, tell me if... You think it would be cool if I do, just kind of thinking about this right now, if I do um, Sinful Color September. So what I'm thinking is that I'll only use Sinful Colors in September. I have so many of them and I'd like to feature a few of them. I did win a, the um, one from Pride Month. Uh, show your pride and I haven't even opened the box so um, I really want to do that so I think I'm going to do simple color September simple September hey if anyone wants to play along with me that would be awesome just uh, down in the comment section tell me if you think that's a cool idea or not um you know what I'm not going to use this one I don't know if you can see but the edges aren't completely picked up. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to stamp the other three and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them all stamped. Here's my thumb, not that it matters. So we did the, I did the pinky and purple. So I'm going to do my ring finger in the same chrome purple. And it will stick to... Just the Moira polish. Um, you know, this is an awesome alternative to people who, like me, who can't wear gel polish. So uh, you can, you don't have to stamp with this if you want. You could just use, is my head in the way? <laughs> I'm trying to keep my fingers so you guys can see it. You know, I'm going to scroll down just a bit. If my phone will let me. Now it wants to change brightness. There we go. I'm just going to scoot down just a bit so you guys can see this. So what I was saying is you could paint your whole nail with the Moira stamping polish and then um, chrome over it. There's so many different chromes. This is, uh, like I said, Born Pretty's um, Chrome powder. I bought them a long time ago, and there are some regular polishes that actually work pretty well with um, these pigment powders. But uh, this Moira is, I guess, is designed to do this because it's pretty cool. So I'm just getting a little bit of alcohol to wipe some of that off my finger. Um just because I don't want it everywhere. Cheese off black everywhere. Why not? Purple's better than black. Okay, so these two have the purple on it. Um, let's set that one aside. I'm going to put the lid on it so I don't spill it. So this number is 3073833. This is number three. 
And the blue to silver is 30738. This is number 6. 38 6. And I believe this is blue, blue to purple or purple to blue. So we're going to go on, uh, sorry, the ring finger. You belong over there. I'm sorry, my middle finger, and use this blue one. And I'm just burnishing it in like you would if you were using it on um, gel polish. So the more you rub the the hollow or the powder, the um, more it becomes like super translucent. So there you go on that one. I was really hoping you could see the different colors. Here, let me put that light away. Okay, maybe you can hear. So this finger is a purple shift and this finger is a blue shift. All right, so I'm gonna do blue on my ring finger as well. I'm going to top these with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Bundle Monster. I have two bottles and I think now I'm going to use one just for glitters. Uh, just because sometimes you don't want to share that. I mean glitter is awesome but sometimes you don't want it on everything. So these two are purple. I think you can see. And these two are the blue shift. Now I'm going to do my thumb in the teal. Uh, I will put everything I use down in the description box, so um, you could go down there if you're looking, and I will leave a link to all of the ladies who participated in this week's collaboration. Uh, thank you, Francis, for hosting, and a picture, including a macro of mine, will be at the end. I'm going to go outside and see if I can't get a better picture of this. But a picture of mine will be at the end, along with uh, all the ladies who participated this week. If you haven't subscribed to them, uh, go check them out. Even if you have subscribed, go check out their videos and uh, show all these ladies some love. We work really hard to get these out every week. And I have to admit, lately I haven't been... It's kind of been every other week. I'm trying really hard to keep up with you guys, but you are crazy. So this one is a blue teal shift. I can see it, um, but I guess it's hard for the camera to pick it up. And I did have to add extra rows on both sides, so it might be a little wonky. But this is a teal blue shift. So there we go. That's how they look. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really, really helps me out. Subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification of every time I upload a video. And uh, thanks again for spending some time with me. I'm working really hard to make my videos a little bit shorter so you guys aren't like overwhelmed by my babbling. So, um, there we go. I love them. They look great. I will give you a picture at the end. Don't forget to go show the ladies some love. Smash that like button and the subscribe button. And again, thanks for spending your time with me and smile at the grumpy. Have a great, great day, guys. Talk to you soon.